excited to ease into life in China like a latex gimp suit. But there may be some complication. Here are six things you didn't quite prepare for before moving to China. Let's talk about it. So let's talk about internet. The Chinese internet obviously has what's called the Great Firewall of China. And you've probably heard about that before. It keeps sites like YouTube, Facebook, and a whole magnitude of uh, foreign websites out of China. And of course, the Chinese internet is flogged with viruses. It has more viruses than the Bangkok House of Prostitution. What you may not know, however, is the Great Firewall of China, by eliminating a lot of the natural predators like Facebook and YouTube, has allowed sites like Baidu, Weibo, and Yoku to flourish because there's no uh, Facebook to eliminate the competition. Um, the internet in China can be fast, but you gotta be careful. Um, don't leave your Wi-Fi open because, again, someone's going to snarf you. Yeah, that's a term. There's uh, Wi-Fi snarfing and blue snarfing with your Bluetooth. So don't leave them open unless you plan on using them. Someone will invite themselves in and have a heyday with your uh, personal information. There's over a billion people in China. As such, people are literally and metaphorically everywhere, which brings me to my next point, crowds. Um, the extreme population really has a part and parcel to the way people line up for goods, services, and public transportation. They don't. There's no lines, there's no queues, there's unruly mobs kind of crowding and carousing to get goods and services. If you walk into a store, people are gonna be reaching you around you with uh, you know, their bottle of Coke and their money to try to cut you off because there's so many people in China. It's kind of led to a, uh, a mentality that if I don't get mine, I'm not gonna get any. So I'm gonna push and shove you out of the way to get mine. Uh, I have literally seen people push old lady and over the handicap out of the way to get on a bus or to buy a movie ticket. And it's not personal. It's just kind of the way that people behave. This thinking really translates directly over to the driving as well. If you're driving and there's two lanes of traffic, literally two painted lanes, there will be four lanes of cars and the two lanes of traffic. Um, because again, people are going to be have this unruly mob. I have to get mine. So if you're driving, someone will cut you off on the right to go left or vice versa, uh, sometimes at the same time. So you really have to kind of pay attention. This also pays part to pedestrians. If you're walking, look both ways two, three times. Be careful because they're not watching out for you. Uh, they have the uh, EMH, every man for himself philosophy. So be careful. Here's the other thing. If you are walking and someone hits you, there's more of a fine in China for them to injure you than if they kill you. So I've heard too many times of someone driving and they hit someone and they're gonna back up and finish the job two or three times if necessary because then they can just say, I didn't see him, I thought it was a garbage bag. And they pay a, literally pay a fine and go off. Whereas if they injure you, they may have to pay for your rehabilitation and it could be a lot more expensive. So be careful, crowds, gotta love them. So, Language. This should be relatively obvious since most everyone in China speaks Chinese and very few people speak English. And even those of us who speak a little bit of Mando, enough to order a plate of slop at a restaurant, still really aren't speaking it right. Uh, because there are four tones in Chinese. Uh, Mandarin Chinese has four. Ma, 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 ma. And if you're not speaking them right, in other words, even if you have the right words but the wrong tones, no one's going to understand you. And even if they do, a lot of folks in China have a kind of a predisposition that foreigners can't speak Chinese. And so they won't even give you the opportunity. You walk up to them and they're like, whoa, tiba dong. And they're not even going to give you the time of day. So do yourself a favor. Improve your Mandarin game. Get it strong. us to the weather. The weather in China is hot, 
really hot. Uh, often it makes about as much sense as Jay Leno wearing Lady Gaga's wardrobe. And it's often more humid than the Pillsbury Doughboy's belly button. So, nine months out of the year, you're going to sweat a lot. And consider that there's no air conditioning in a lot of the houses. Yes, in public transportation, the malls, putting your houses, nah, not really. Um, and those three months out of the year, it's going to get down to maybe 50 degrees Fahrenheit, which doesn't seem very cold until you consider that most of the buildings are made out of concrete. Concrete hugs the cold. And if you live south of the Yellow River, there's no central heat, no radiators. You're stuck with whatever blankets, fuzzy warm slippers, and animals you care to gather in your bed to keep you warm. So yeah, do consider the weather. Of course, I want to briefly touch on garbage. There's a lot of garbage in China. And unfortunately, people kind of have the uh, attitude that it's not my problem. Remember I told you there was over a billion people in China? Well, that creates a lot of garbage and people have a, a tendency here just to kind of toss things down and forget about it or look the other direction. Chances are if you live here for a couple years, you won't even notice all the garbage either. But do pay attention though, because you want to want to watch where you're walking. Uh, there's poo on the ground. Sometimes people poo. And um, you don't want to step in that. You want to watch where you're walking as far as sharp cans, nails, rusty nails, bits of wood. It's all over the place. And a lot of times it, it gets cleaned up. It's getting better in China. Uh, 20 years ago, there's a lot more garbage everywhere. And I imagine in another 20 years, who knows? It may look like America here. But yeah, just be aware of it. So food can be somewhat of a double-edged sword. If you like Chinese food, you're gonna find plenty of Chinese food in China. But don't even be expecting to find a whole lot of Western food. Cheese? Nah, forget about it. Not a whole lot of that here. I mean, you can find uh, Golden Arches if McDonald's is your idea of Western food. But outside the major cities in China, there really isn't hardly anything as far as Western food. So, enjoy Chinese food. And when I say Chinese food, I mean the real stuff. Not like the uh, Chinese food you expect to find in a Chinese buffet in America. That's not real Chinese food. Your coconut chicken, uh, egg bouillon, uh, even egg rolls, not Chinese. So at the end of the day, I guess none of these problems are insurmountable. Like my pappy always like to say, problems are made to be resolved. In any case, I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay frosty. So one thing about food in China, if you end up eating too much of something, you can always get one of these to clean your beard for you.